They barrel in off the Trans-Canada Highway from all across the prairies. They end up here just outside of Brooks, Alberta. They are bringing cattle for slaughter. On any workday, close to 5,000 of these animals get turned into everything from medicinal products to leather goods, from pet food to cosmetics. The most profitable of all, they get turned into food for humans. This is the face of agribusiness today. Large, industrialized, highly efficient, and totally cost conscious. It's the reason we have some of the cheapest food in the world. But there is a cost. It is the cost to the animal itself. For we have taken this benign, naturally flatulent vegetarian and turned it first into a cannibal. And when that didn't work, into a vampire. We've made its brain and spinal cord into toxic sites. We've managed to turn its feces into something that routinely makes us sick and occasionally kills us. We've taken on the cow and used it as our experiment in developing the perfect food machine. In the process, we've created our very own Frankensteer. Fifty years ago, eating a roast beef dinner was reserved for special occasions. This what meat looks good to me. Yes, it's the best I've bought for a long time. Fifty years ago, beef was a lot more variable, a lot tougher, and a lot more expensive. Good meat, all right. Fifty years ago, we produced beef for the table in a very different fashion. But not that much different from what Bob Kerr is doing today on his farm in Chatham, Ontario. Conditions are, uh, are, are very like what they would encounter the, in nature, but maybe even better than nature, because the animals are uh, living in their natural environment here. They eat their natural diet, and they feed themselves and spread their own manure. And look at the diversity of species. Uh, I can see three or four different species of grasses. I, I guess you might say this is heifer heaven. When I'm on the pasture, I can feel their pleasure. It's their natural environment. It's their natural diet. You know, this is the life that they were meant for. The alternative would be to live in a feedlot and be fed on a diet which is not in their biological heritage. 